What's up y'all? It's your boy Rad Richie and today I'm here because I'm going to teach you guys a really awesome trick and it's kind of hard but it's kind of not. It's all really about the commitment in wanting to pull it off and it's an awesome trick. I know you guys are going to be stoked to learn. Well let's just get right into it. Today we're going to learn how to do the decade. Oh yeah. Yes, the decade. A very sophisticated trick. A very flashy trick. A very difficult trick to learn. Actually, it's really not that hard to learn. It's pretty easy. It's just all about commitment. This trick is 100% commitment, period. Once you jump, you go over, you catch, and you roll away. That's really all there is to it. But if you don't commit, bad things happen. You can get hurt doing this trick. Therefore, I recommend you wear some knee and shin pads, a helmet, a chest plate, uh, elbow pads, gloves, a condom. Just kidding. But seriously though, this trick, if you do not commit to it 100%, you can get hurt like this. Now that hurt really, really bad. My ribs were sore for like three months after that. It was really extremely painful. But you can avoid this by committing to the trick. Okay, so before you try this trick, you're probably gonna wanna know how to do a boomerang. Because a boomerang is gonna give you the feeling of going from one side of your bike around the front to the other side and catching from one side of the bike to the other and your bars are going to be your guide that you follow around the front of the bike and come back around back again to the frame. Now once you have the feeling of doing a boomerang then it's gonna make it a lot easier for you because it's that pretty much same feeling when you're going vertically over the top tube instead of around it. It's almost harder to go around it than over it because you're just basically jumping the head tube and landing back on the other side like a boomerang. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you start off by rolling at a slow speed while standing on the back pegs. You come to a stop by tapping the front brake and doing a little bitty indo, and then drop the back end. When it hits, you're gonna pull back, and at the same time of pulling back, you're also gonna turn, start to turn your bars. And at the same time of that, you're going to take your right foot and step onto the seat clamp as you're turning the bars. Now, as the bars are turning and the bike is vertical, you're going to push off with your right foot and follow the bars around. They're going to go over the top of the bike. Now, this is where it gets scary because this is where the commitment comes into play. As you're over the top of the bike, you're going to be looking down and you're going to be, I look at the seat when I go around but you're gonna be over the top of the bike and you're gonna stall there for a second and at this point is where the commitment all comes into play. As you're going over the top, you're going to reach your left leg over the tube, the top tube, and let it guide you around the other side of the bike. Now, you've taken off from like the seat clamp area with your right foot and as you're going over the top of the bike, you're gonna to wanna to aim 
and spot the seat clamp on the other side of the bike with your left foot so that you can kind of catch at the same place you took off from. And it's usually that little point where the seat tube and the seat post are meeting with the frame, that little nook right there. That's the best place to catch. It's the safest place to land and that's where I try to aim for every time. And as the bike is coming underneath you and you go to the other side, as long as your left foot can catch that area or the top of the frame, anywhere in that area, the bars as they're turning back and falling the front down, you'll be able to roll away. Hopefully, the front pedal will be forward, your right pedal is forward as you take off from the trick. If you leave it forward, after you go over the top, once the front comes down, you'll be able to just kind of land on the frame and then step right on the pedal. And as you're stepping on the pedal, it gives you the momentum to move forward. So you do the endo, the back comes up, you pull back, you turn the bars, step onto the seat clamp with your right foot and push off. Jump over the top tube and catch the seat tube with your left foot in the seat clamp area. And that's really it. It's all about committing. It's all about once you've jumped, you make it all the way around and catch with the other foot. The bars will naturally just come around straight. The front end will drop. Your right pedal should be forward. As long as it is, you can just step right on the pedal as it falls and roll away. And then listen to the crowd cheering in adoration of the move that you just pulled. Now, I hope that you guys can go out and pull off some decades on your own. It, probably will take you a few tries to get it because the commitment level is what's hard to get in your brain, the jumping over the top of the bike. And um, hopefully you'll be able to conquer that fear of the 90 degree point where you're looking down on the bike and you realize that you still got the other 90 degrees left to go. So it's all about the commitment. Hope you guys Learn something from this. I hope it helps you to pull off your own decades. And once you get one decade, do two and three and four and do the kind where you jump over and jump back and do the jump from the back pegs, the Gary Pollock style where you just like do a boomerang over the top tube. Those are all really cool things, but it all starts with the basic one. And hopefully now you'll know how to do the basic decade. And from that, you can build onto anything that you want. The sky's the limit. You're free to have any style. That's why it's freestyle. Yeah! Hope you guys enjoyed my videos. If you do, like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And as always, always. stay, stay ready.